Welcome back to the Beyond the Wormhole series and Kerbal Space Program. Today is actually the finale of this series as we'll be taking this rocket that I've built to, um, well not to, more like into the black hole, Cacao Blow itself. So let's take a look at what we got here. Um, this is a small kind of like rocket using a Far Future Technologies engine called the X6 Clark Vision Fragment Rocket, which uh, has some little uh, planet side exploration technologies modules on the end of it for our crew which will also be going along with the ship into the black hole itself they've uh, signed waivers and agreed to do this so uh, who am I to deny them they are Kerbals after all so this kind of mission is right up their alley and I've also got the thing that's a little setting on where like if your Kerbals die they regenerate after like I don't know a couple hours or whatever um, there might be a, kind of an interesting in-lore explanation for how they do that. I don't know if anyone wants to make a video on that or, or something, but maybe it's like a Avatar 2 situation where they like download the consciousness as a backup of all their Kerbals and then they like clone the body and then reinsert the consciousness back into the spare when a Kerbal crashes. Um, yeah, that may, maybe something to think about, I don't know. But we're breaking out of the atmosphere here and coasting up to our apoapsis. We're about to ditch our booster stage, and now we are in our kick stage, which will perform the final maneuver to kick us into a circular orbit, and we'll actually have enough fuel afterwards to um, continue to kick our orbit up and out of the sphere of influence of Kerbin, and we'll get on our way to Sarnus, which is the Saturn analog to the Kerbal system using the Outer Planets mod. Um, when you have Outer Planets mod installed, the Cacao system will place its connecting wormhole in the Sarna system, but if you don't have Outer Planets mod installed, it'll put it around Joule. Uh, oh, you guys might have noticed, I always like to say that just in case anyone is just joining the series. But here we are drifting away from our home world, um, which we will probably never see again, uh, just given the flight plan. Um, but here's our rocket, we've just deployed our fairing, turn the lights on and flip it over. So yeah, like I said, it's uh, got a um, fission fragment rocket engine on the back, which is essentially a nuclear fission reactor that has two holes on the end of it. So it doesn't really have a super high thrust to weight ratio, but it only runs on enriched uranium, which it carries with itself in the part itself. So you don't need to carry any extra fuel tanks. We have a bunch of radiators on our truss section here, um, but yeah, it's a pretty easy engine. Right now I'm just showing you guys the interior. Uh, yeah, these, these modules are from the Planet Side Exploration Technologies mod. And this centrifuge that I'm entering is from the Stock Alike Station Parts Expansion Redux mod, which is pretty cool. And I'm using Free IVA, another mod which allows us to traverse the interior of these parts in first person, which really elevates the experience um, and allows us to enjoy the really cool interiors of all these parts which must have taken a long time to make. So glad we're able to walk around them and appreciate them. So yeah, we've got a few beds in here, some storage, and I don't know, maybe a little track to run along to give our Kerbals some exercise. But we've, our, we've um, circumnavigated the centrifuge, so let's just climb back up here and get back into the command module through the science module. I'll close that hatch there and get back in our seat and then perform the rest of our burn to intercept with the Sarna system once we've exited the sphere of influence of Kerbin. That was like a huge run on sentence, I think. I'll set up that maneuver to kick our apoapsis up to hit Sarnus here. It's like the, the transfer window angle is like just is maybe like 10 to 15 degrees past 90 degrees. I've always kind of just winged it. But with a higher Delta V craft like this, getting an encounter shouldn't be too difficult. Um, yeah, this engine in particular, though, does produce like 15 megawatts of heat. So that's why we've got this big stack of glowing radiators here to radiate that heat and prevent our engine from exploding yeah this this particular engine has a pretty uh, low thrust to weight ratio which means it's not very um, strong but it's got a lot of stamina 
if that makes sense. So the burns take many days um, for larger burns, but it's pretty efficient. And I think it's the first engine that you would unlock in the tech tree with the Far Future Technologies mod that provides some of these Far Future engines here. What I'm doing right now is warping ahead to my maneuver at an ascending node or descending node, I don't remember, of our target. And what we're trying to do here is line up our approach with the orbit that I've just highlighted here, which is the orbit of the wormhole that connects the Kerbal system to the Kakaobolo system. And right now I'm just playing with the radial and retrograde maneuver markers to get an intercept at my flyby periapsis. And we're going to do my much beloved thread the needle maneuver where we're just um, plotting our trajectory to go straight through the center of the wormhole without having to circularize around it. This will end up just like shooting you right out into the Kakaobolo system on the other side. No circularization and escape needed on the other end, which can be helpful for saving on fuel with the drawback of not always knowing exactly what direction you're exiting on the other side. Um, but, you know, we can make do. We've got plenty of fuel. So what I do here is make sure my periapsis is below 30,000. Sometimes I think the um, visuals of going through the wormhole are cooler if your periapsis is low enough that your periapsis marker actually disappears. Um, and then I'm just warping ahead till we enter the Sarna system in a, another year or two. You can see Sarnus on our left, as well as some of its moons, which kind of look like small specks at this distance, but we should be entering the wormhole soon. There it is. I'll let you guys watch. Cool. So we've exited the wormhole. Everything's chilling. And the wormhole on this side orbits a desert ringed kind of like duna-esque planet called sarah and it looks like the direction that we've exited has put us on an escape trajectory out of this planetary system into a slightly elliptical orbit around its parent star which is an orange dwarf called sun orc and so sun orc like a few other stars in the cacaobolo system orbits the black hole at the center of the same name um, so what we're going to have to do here is plot a huge multi-day burn to exit the sphere of influence of Sun Orc in it, the opposite direction that it's orbiting around the black hole, which will put us on an escape trajectory with a really, really low periapsis around the black hole on the other side of our orbit. So I'm about to execute that there. It'll take a few days. So I'm using the mod Persistent Thrust to allow me to non-physics time warp wall burning. That will be really helpful for these far future engines. Um, as the burns can last hours and days. So it looks like we our periapsis is dropping into the black hole. I'm just going to be sure we'll crash into it and lower it until the periapse marker completely disappears. And this is a little time lapse of our departure from the Sun Orc system. So we'll see it shrink in the distance behind us. And as we approach the black hole, we can see it through one of our porthole windows and see how it's warping space and the light behind it through gravitational lensing. And this is just a time lapse of our approach. Now would probably be a good time to run some of our experiments. You guys can pause and read the science descriptions if you guys want. They're pretty cool actually.
I think in honor of this being the finale of my long running Beyond the Wormhole series, I'll spare you guys my commentary and just let you guys watch the final moments before we enter the black hole and discover what lies beyond. It seems as though we've caught on fire in the quantum vacuum of the black hole interior and promptly exploded. Well, now we know. I think this concludes our mission for today, guys. Uh, I just want to thank you guys for being such cool fans and uh, commenting on my videos always and expressing your enthusiasm for the series. It's been a lot of fun and I've got some more stuff coming up, so I've planned other series uh, to continue my channel. So don't think that this is the end, although we are done with the Cacaobolo system for now. You guys should look forward to what we've got coming up. I'm going to do like an Outer Planets mod series and eventually another Interstellar series just like this one. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. I'll see ya.